All right, hi again, third video here. We're going to add a second resistor this time. We're going to do it in series. And series means that one comes after another, like the World Series, right? One baseball game right after the other. And in order to play game seven, you first have to play the first six games. You can't play game seven without starting any of the others. So the same thing happens here. You can't go, electricity cannot go through one LED without going through the other as well. There's only one pathway, one sidewalk, one whatever you want to call it, one, one road that the electricity can travel on to get from start to finish, and it has to go through both LEDs. So that's what we're going to build here. How do we add the second LED in if it's in series? You notice I've added a second one in. This time, it's in blue. We already have one LED working. We're going to have to make some adjustments and drag some things around in order to get this to work, but it's actually pretty simple. All I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go here. We can add a resistor in at any point in time as long as it's somewhere in the pathway with the LEDs. We're going to be fine. So I'm going to leave it where it is in between the two LEDs. If you had it at the beginning before the green one or after the blue one, you would see no difference at all in the way that the circuit behaved, in the way your measurements turn out later on, that kind of thing. So it's really simple. We just got to remember we're going from positive, which is the curved leg here, to negative. It's going to jump through over to this resistor. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go positive to negative. Now, I don't like how it looks there because I need a wire to connect back to black eventually. So I'm just going to move this down. Remember, these are all five connected underneath with that invisible wire. So it's going to come out of this resistor. It's going to travel underneath through that invisible wire. It's going to go up through the blue one and out through the negative leg. So I need, just need to connect this new one back to black. And so now if I trace the entire circuit, here's what's going on. Electricity comes out of the power supply, travels down the red line here, jumps across on the red wire, goes underneath all the way to the push button switch. When you press the push button switch, it jumps diagonally. It allows diagonal travel when the button is pressed. It's going to travel underneath the green leg and up and through the diode. It's going to travel underneath on this invisible wire up until it hits the resistor. It's going to travel across the resistor to this spot. Now that it's on this row, it's going to travel underneath that wire to the positive, the anode leg of the LED, and up and over and through to the cathode. Once it gets out here, it's going to hover underneath. It's going to go on that invisible wire to the black wire. It's going to jump across here to the running line, which goes all the way here, down the black jumper wire, and all the way back to ground. One path, it has to include both LEDs. And what you're going to notice whenever we start the simulation this time, when I push the button, both LEDs turn on. Interesting stuff. You'll notice that the current this time, remember last time in the last video, the current was 21 milliamps, almost too much for the LED. This time it's 15. So apparently, the, the resistance of the LED alone was enough to drop the current sum by adding a second LED. The resistor hasn't changed. Interesting observation. Anyway, that's how you build this. Hopefully that makes sense. In the next video, the last video for this, I will show you how to add some meters and use them to take measurements.